In this video, I'm going to tell you what a thermal expansion tank is, what purpose it serves, and why you should have one in your home. And we're getting right to it. Welcome everybody to Tailgate Tuesday edition of Plumbing with Tim. If this is your first time here and you want to sharpen up on your plumbing skills or just learn something, then drop down below and hit the subscribe button that way you're not going to miss any of my videos. So today we're going to be talking about a thermal expansion tank. Everybody's probably saw one of these. If you haven't, <laughs> chances are pretty good you should probably get one put into your home and I'm going to tell you the exact reason why. Thermal expansion tank. Thermal means heat, okay? And what does a hot water heater usually do? It heats up water. That's why you would find one of these canisters mounted above your hot water heater. And if you don't have one above there, it's time to call a licensed plumber and have one installed. Okay, so we're going to start with a basic walk around. Nothing fancy, just basic plain Jane. You got an inlet right here, three quarter inch, where it would mount to the top of the cold inlet of a water heater. On the top side of this little cap, slide that off there, and look what we got in here. It's a Schrader valve, just like a tire, okay? This allows me to test it, as well as when the factory made this, they inserted the air into this tank. Now let me tell you what's inside of this tank. Inside here, you can't see it, that's inside of the canister is a neoprene bladder okay a neoprene bladder or if you want to call it a rubber bag um, it's pressurized with air okay and it's designed as almost like a shock absorber uh, when it comes to your water system and your hot water heater you know for years and years and years your first line of defense on your water heater from rupturing due to thermal expansion was your pressure release valve okay this thing doesn't work off of air pressure, it works off of spring. Okay, so when that heat inside of there exceeds 210 degrees or 150 PSI, the thing would pop open and push that water out of the tank to save it from rupturing. So in recent years, um, engineers have came up with the design of the thermal expansion tank as the first line of defense when it comes to that thermal expansion. So let's imagine your water heater heating up and heating up and heating up and heating up and all that pressure is building and building and building all right you don't want it to rupture that tank so what it does is it actually pushes up inside of this expansion tank and it pushes that rubber back okay which kind of allows it somewhere to go instead of rupturing your water heater or popping off your pressure release valve now as that pressure goes down so will that water that's inside that tank and it will relieve it and get it back to normal water pressure in your home. Now these tanks are great. I totally advise everybody that's watching this video to make sure to have one of these installed above your water heater. But they don't last forever, okay? Um, usual lifespan of these might be about three to five years. Now how do you know if it goes bad or not? Remember that Schrader valve we were talking about up top here? If I put my finger on here and I push the little pin Hear that? There's air in there. Now, if I was to push that and water squirt it out, the tank is shot. It means the pressure has gotten up inside of there and it's blown the bag apart, the neoprene bladder. And now it's not serving any purpose any longer. It's full of water and it has no way of keeping that pressure regulated from your tank expansion as well as the rest of the pressure going on in your home with your pipes and your fixtures. This also acts as a good safety uh, regulator when it comes to all your pipes and your plumbing fixtures inside your home because usually the PSI inside of someone's home should be between 50 and 60 pounds all right well hot water heaters can cause that pressure inside of your pipes and your fixtures to go up and possibly blow out seals in like a faucet or in different kinds of valves well this particular tank is designed to have that pressure go up into it first instead of blowing out something in your home. Now if you're not sure about any of this stuff, it's always a good idea to get on the phone and call a licensed plumber. Have them come out and do an inspection of the home. Uh, you could put a gauge on your water lines and see what that total pressure from the city is. If it's exceeding over 80 pounds, then you might end up wanting to uh, put a pressure regulating valve 
on your water line coming into your home before it reaches your home. That way you can regulate the amount of pressure that's coming to your home and protect your plumbing fixture. Heck yeah, I think it's a great idea that you take the time and spend a few bucks. If you haven't already had one of these put in your home, call a plumber and have them come out and install one as soon as possible. These tanks generally run about $50 plus the cost of a service call and a couple parts and stuff. But in the long run, it's gonna save you a lot of headaches and money. So there you have it. I hope this video has helped you out in one way or another. Hey, I've got them all day long. If you got other video ideas that you want to hear uh, me make a video about, please leave me a comment down below and a suggestion and stuff. Uh, there are a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about this particular uh, installation and what these things do. This is just pretty basic and straightforward to you. And I have a lot of people ask me every day, what is that tank that's on my water here? Why do I need one? And do I need one? The answer is yes. So, tailgate Tuesday edition of Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.